All right, I'm going to be in North Carolina this Friday looking like this. It's going to be amazing. Wear your Halloween costumes this Friday, October 29th. Me, Sal Volcano, co-headlining the Doran Performing Arts Center. It's going to be great. Then I'm going to Salt Lake City, Utah, November 5th and 6th. Going to be amazing. Shows are almost sold out. November 21st, Wilbur Theater. We've added a show. Those shows are almost sold out. And then we got Phoenix. We got uh, uh, Austin, Texas coming up. We have a big run of shows, December 26th to the 31st, me, Sal Volcano, Texas, Missouri, Cincinnati, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, go get the tickets, it's going to be amazing, West Palm Beach, Florida, I'll probably bring TT, I'll probably bring Venetia, who knows what's going to happen, ChristyComedy.com for Tiki Wikis. Happy Halloween cards. Take a seat. Happy, yes, thank happy you, Halloween. Thank you, hey, thank you, thank you. Don't sit on your Halloweeny. Oh happy God. Halloween. We got, yes. we got TT Jerry, aka J Lo, aka Jenny from the Cell Block, and we got Chrissy D, aka AOC, aka ABC, aka um. um. Um, I, I'm, I'm uh, AKA the new Latina. The new, la- the new Latinas on the block. The, we are the new Latinas from the, the block. New Latinas on the block. Yeah, yeah. Eat your heart out, J Lo. It's <laughs> AOC. <laughs> and I got to be honest, man, I feel good in this dress. You do? You should sure feel good. Do you think I look dress. good? You look so amazing. I really? love it. Oh my God. I look like yes. somebody's fat wife. Be honest with me. <laughs> I look like a fat ghost. No, you look just. Great. I love Thank it. you. I love your Whoa. outfit. Can we zoom yes. in on TT's thigh muscles? Woo. Hello. Woo. Somebody's Hello. been doing CrossFit. God Somebody's going to get hit tonight. <laughs> oh, we're hey. at PP. We got the homeless pimp here who's dressed as P. Diddy. Hey, yes, P. Diddy. Going? Well, we got yes, Venetia. We got Venetia, Venetia for the first time in the sunroom. Venetia with uh, a purple wig on uh, going to a rally. And then we also have my daughter off camera. Uh, Delilah um, and Homeless Pimp's responsibility is to give her earmuffs anytime T.T. Jerry starts telling a story. So <laughs> She's the queen of all peacocks, she's saying. You're the queen of all peacocks. Well, look at that. Look at that. You're the queen of all peacocks, the queen of just all cocks. <laughs> so there we go. Minus okay, the P. so. <laughs> T.T. Jerry, how do you feel as J.Lo? Because let me tell you something. You look fierce, and I have to be honest with you. If I put on that dress, your tits and my tits look exactly the same. You think so? I my uh, when you put. I need a little boost, though. You need a little boost for those I need boobies. A little boost for my boobies. Now let me ask you: Have you stopped taking your estrogen pills? Yes, I have stopped taking my estrogen pills because um I just want them to grow natural when I find me a man, mm-hmm. which I already left like four of them. You've had four boyfriends have, since you've been I out? I was married three, four times. No, I'm saying since you've been out. Since times. you've been out. Since I've been out? Of prison. You have had, since I've been out, I haven't been with nobody yet. You haven't hooked up with anybody? Nobody. You it's haven't had, for almost two years now. Two years, no sex, nothing. No, nothing. So you guys, I'm fresh. Wow. I'm fresh out the box. So wow. you already know. Hit me up if you're interested. He's got a fresh ass. J-Lo, hey. That's, um, well, what are you looking for, J-Lo? I'm looking for a good man. I'm looking. I'm Delilah, really looking for a good man. Yeah. To settle down, cause these days all these guys are just full of it. They are full you know, of it. They are just full of it. You know what I'm talking about, girls, ladies. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gay men They're in the all closet. Full of it. They just want to hit and run. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And I'm not looking for a hit and run. No, you ain't. I'm looking for a commitment to settle down, have a nice future. Right. You know, probably adopt two or three kids. Hey, wow. You yes. want to. Wow. That's the first time I've ever heard yes. TT Jerry, a.k.a. Jenny from the cell block, yes. wants to adopt children. Wow. What, t- what ethnicity child would you like to adopt? I would like to adopt some kids from India and Africa. Oh. Wow. India and Africa. Yes. I like that. That's very J-Lo of you. That yes. is very J-Lo. Shout out India. Yes. Shout out Africa. Yes. Both shout good out countries. Africa, shout out India. And I'm AOC. 
I liked AOC. I know she wore tax the rich on the back. I'm wearing tax the rich on the front just because yeah, I, I wanted things that. want things to be a little bit different. And Why I wanted you. Why that? Why did you wear it on the front instead of on the back? Because Venetia drew it on the front. <laughs> uh, you drew it on the back. <laughs> uh, I drew it on the back, and then I think I put the dress on backwards. You did. It I gotta really be honest good. with you. I mean, th- I do feel like I get why Harry Styles came out in a skirt and a dress because I feel so. I don't have to worry about anything. Like I'm just. I don't have to adjust my shirt. I don't have to do anything. I'm just out here, and I just look like a fat garlic knot. I'm just out here. <laughs> like, I'm a garlic it. knot with a George Washington hair. AOC, you look beautiful. You look fantastic. Let me ask you that. Guys, I want you to email the podcast, chrissychaospodcast at gmail.com. Who would you rather have sex with, AOC or Chrissy AOC? Oh, J-Lo. Yeah, that's what it is. I love that you you look like a Staten Island stay at home mom. I do. <laughs> if, I swear to God, if I walked in, if I walked into key food like this, they would just be like, oh, "Are you back, no. Paulette? What you'll do you get, want? You'll get so many free groceries." That's like, "Go shop, just shop, just shop, shop just yeah. go." I would get it. I know this is. You'll get it. This is now. Let me. If I ever went to jail, is this how it should show up to jail? I mean. If Dress you like go this. To jail with lipstick and looking like that, you'll be married in an instant. In an instant. In, in a an second. Instant. You'll have so many husbands fighting over you. So many men fighting. Oh over my you. god, yes. TT. I mean, Halloween. Let me ask you a question. I've never celebrated Halloween with you. Um, last year, yeah, Halloween. The first Halloween out. Oh, Woo! Halloweeny! Yay! Yes. Last year um, for Halloween, it was COVID. And the year before that for Halloween, you were in jail. Do, do you remember? Did, were they ever let you dress up for Halloween? I mean, yeah. I used to dress up, when, but when I was in my cell, I used to dress up as I wanted to. Right. You know, I used to dress up crazy like a cat or a cat woman. And I used to be, um, you know, on my bed going, meow, meow. Right. You want to- when guys used to be passing by, you know, give a little show. Dress up like cat you know? woman. Yeah. I know. What a perfect time to start the podcast right in the middle of a landscape. I know. In the middle of a just landscape. Just landscape. Dude, it was sunshine. quiet. It was been quiet here all day. Now the landscapers just want to turn it up because they said, almost. I'm not going to let those two transgender I'm people get na- away with I'm anything. I'm almost half naked here and I'm sweating and I don't know why. Pull a titty out. No, are you crazy? Let me ask I you a question. If you do, you feel like how a woman would never show her breasts. Would you ne- also never show your breasts like that? Like you don't want anyone to see your nipple. Like I, I can pull a not, nipple I, out, I, it's no I problem. Mind, I don't mind showing my nipples. I'm not embarrassed of anything. I'm a straight up person. I don't care about nothing. You know, I'm straight up. I wonder what it would be. I wonder uh, if we would. That's me. That's me. That's how I am. You I know. W- I'm myself. I am who I am. Hell, who don't like it, who likes it, likes it, who don't like it. Hey, too bad, baby. I'm going to be me no matter what. That's right. You know. Do you, do you think, do you think if, because if I pulled out a nipple, nobody would care. But if you pulled out a nipple, I wonder if we would get like demonetized and flagged and would <laughs> no. it be like a woman's pulling out a nipple? <laughs> no, I don't know. Should we test it? Nah. <laughs> yeah, should we test it? Let's see. Oh my God. I mean, What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm hot. Are you you gonna wipe your face off with the sign? No, I'm not gonna wipe my. She's gonna face fan off herself. I'm just gonna fan myself. Now, now that sign, my daughter made that sign. Yeah, One side says I like homeless pimp, and, and then the flip it. Says, I don't like homeless. Pimp. That's what it is, folks. And you decide. Email the podcast, Chrissy Chaos Podcast at gmail.com. Does he stay or does he go? <laughs> <laughs> now I had the pleasure of driving TT to her hair appointment today. Amazing. Yes. Yes. Oh On Staten God. Island. On Staten Island. Now and, I heard that yes. TT yelled at them. What happened? Yes, I did. They yell at them. What? I didn't yell at them. I didn't yell at them. I was nice to her. And I told her, you know, that kind of makeup you have, it, it's not for my tone of skin. It's not the right color. And she says, well, this is the only thing that we have. We don't have nothing darker. I said, well, what do you mean you don't have nothing darker? You, and she's supposed to be a makeup artist? Yeah. You're supposed to have all type of makeup. Yeah. For every type Correct. of skin. Correct. We are at the end skin. of Staten Island, though, so it's like... To be fair, not too many dark people go out that way. Yeah. Maybe if I were to go to another salon, like, you know, the hood and everything, right. they would have it. But look where we at. My favorite part you know, was that uh, TT that, was that, telling me facts about ABC. What? Oh, yeah, AOC, yeah, who TT calls of ABC. AOC, I call ABC. Why do you call I ABC? Just, I don't know. I just get confused and I say ABC. ABC. ABC, She's, AOL is the same shit. Just look who's here. That's who I'm talking about. <laughs> the one sitting right next to me. AOL. So, I want to ask you a question. Oh, wow. How did you feel 
On the day when Yoho, I don't know if anybody knows who Yoho is. My ho? <laughs> Yoho. Oh, He's Yoho. A, yeah, Yoho. Oh. Yoho, the one that called um, ACO on Disgusting and all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What you think about that? Wasn't that cruel? He the, called her Disgusting, a slut, a bitch, all kind of shit. He called her all no, types of shit. I think that shit. was some kind of foul shit. It was. It was. Mira, mijo, if it was me, I would have take off my heel and I would have hit that motherfucker right in the forehead. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You know how Puerto Ricans go. 100%. You know how we move. But that's why, that, but I think AOC, a.k.a. ACO, a.k.a. A1C, a.k.a. ABC. ABC. No AKA what. AOL, AKA WL, AKA LOL. I think that she did a good job of holding her own and not yes, really. She, she, did. she took the high road. Yes, but I think did. in private, when she went back to the Bronx, she was talking shit. I think she sat around and drank some wines and they well, made who fun of your home. talk shit. That's what we do. That's what who I do every week. talk shit these days, right? Now, TT, how do you think yes. Chris looks compared to the original image on the screen? It's of not, AOC? The screen's not on. Oh, is it no, not? It's no. Not on. It's what the off. fuck happened on the screen? Uh, wow, look at Pimp with the Puff Daddy jacket. Yes, I like the way you look, Pimp. Cute, nice. Them Jordans. Pimp. Now, who's the look other woman up. standing next to AOC that's in this picture? Somebody. Do we know? That's, that's the designer. That's, that's just like her friend or something. That's the like, designer. Yeah, that's, that's her Now, designer. let me ask you this. Is this... Now, we have Venetia here as, 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 as the head of the woke police. The resident woke. Is this appropriation what I'm doing? And is this uh, is this problematic that I'm dressing as a Puerto Rican woman? First of all, very good question. And Thank you. You addressing it alone is important. Yes. So um, I think it's okay because it's all in fun and it is Halloween. And, you know, you're just celebrating, you know, your favorite people in your right. life. I'm not in blackface. Absolutely not. The only thing I did to make it a little bit more Latina is I did put a pack of Newport cigarettes in my tits. That's tits. what I did. to. Maybe I could see people being like, hey, that's a little much. Yeah. But when Liz, Jasmine's mom, comes in and is looking for her Newports, she's, you're going to see the stereotype is pretty real. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Liz, can I have the parni? Give me the parni. So what do you think I'm Alec Baldwin killed somebody? What do you think about that? Do you think he's cute? Alec oh. Baldwin? He, he's, he probably was cuter when he was younger. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. He accidentally shot I mean, someone a, and killed somebody. He's a good-looking guy. Do you yeah. think he's going to go to jail for accidentally killing someone with a prop I don't think gun? so. No, right? No. I don't think so. You, I don't think he can. You know how these people work. He ain't going nowhere. And I also think movies have insurance. I, I think it was like a genuine accident. And he probably feels bad. But all I'll say is that's what happens when you go against Trump. It was Trump. just an accident. That's how, they, that's how they're going to see it, that it was just an accident. I don't know. He has a so. pretty bad temper that's documented publicly. Yeah, yeah. but they were filming a movie. And they weren't when even shit rolling. like that happens, they're going to consider it I as think, an accident. I believe she even was shot. Even if he meant to do it or yeah, they yeah. set him up or anything, mm -hmm. they're going to look at it like if it was an accident. Two big stories yesterday, which is, you know, or, or last week. Two big stories broke on the same day. We had... Alec Baldwin shoot and kill someone, and then Brian Laundry was found. His body was found eaten alive. It was eaten by alligators and and evil uh, wild pigs. They wow. ate, did you hear about that story? Did you know Brian no, Laundry? I did not. Hear he was on about a man. This. He killed his girlfriend. They allegedly, and then they were on a manhunt, and they were saying that his his parents were hiding him, and that he escaped to Europe, and he was a flight risk. Blah blah blah. And then they found his eaten body. Um, uh, by animals, they found his body uh, yesterday. So no, I never. What's this about transgender, Doctor? Doctor Rachel, Rachel Levine, Lloyd, the nation's most senior, senior transgender official, made history again Tuesday by becoming the first open gender. What? She became the first openly transgender yeah, four-star officer across any of the country's eight uniform services. Uniform so she, service. so she's a transgender officer in the military. Do you, do you, do you feel comfortable with a transgender person I mean, leading our didn't military? Didn't Trump try to stop that? He didn't want no he kind did. of transgenders or anything to join any kind of. Um, yeah, he didn't want it. How does, how does yeah. that make you feel? I mean, that's fucked up because anybody is allowed to join any kind of, you know. Right. So I think that was fucked would up. Would you vote for Trump. a transgender president? But, would yes. you vote? You would. Yes, you course. think a transgender person? One hundred percent. You think 100%. they actually should be president? I think they should. Like, I'll probably be the next president. Who knows? That oh, would be something. Yes. yes. I'll probably be the next president and support all my transgender people. What would you do all as president? Guys. Genuinely, what do you think you would do? I would do so much for the for the communities. Okay. I would do so much for the transgender people because they really need a lot of help. 
Right. They really need a lot of support. And we've been getting turned down in a lot of things. Right. You know, I would really support them 100%. Yes. Yeah, that's, but what about, other, I mean, what about other stuff though? Like, what would you do with national security? What would you do with Mexico? Mess, I'll set them free. You would set Mexico I'll free. Set Mexico there you go. Free. <laughs> not- I'll set everybody Woo! free. I wow. mean, let, let us live. Why not? Let us live. Would you let have jail? Live. Would you have jails in America if if if, if you were president? Of course, jails are going to be bailed over everywhere, everywhere around the world. Of course, because they're going to have many criminals and, and right. that kind of shit is going to be happening, and they need to be punished. What would you, you know? do? What would you but, do with China? With China, I would. I would. I don't know. You don't know. You would just talk to them. You would eat, have Chinese yeah. food with them. Yeah. I would Why not? Chinese, free Chinese food. You would, you love Chinese food. Yeah, I like Chinese food. Oh, what, yeah. do you, what do you order? Um, <laughs> rice and chicken. Nice. Very chicken wings. I don't. I won't order nothing else if it's not chicken wings because I don't trust those those ribs. You don't trust us. I don't trust them talking about they eat cats and or cook cats and all that shit. Dogs and allegedly. All that. Yeah. That's the only thing. So I know chicken is the only thing that's safe. Uh, um, well, how about this? China, they have a hypersonic um, missile that can leave Earth's atmosphere and go into outer space and land on a target on the other side of the world in like 10 minutes. So what do you think of that? Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but China that's has China. it, not us. <laughs> Kill them all. China, they kill us. Yeah, they would kill yeah. us. They would kill all the transgender people. No, I'm not talking about us. Kill us. Let that shit go reverse and kill all of them. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh. Nuke China, yes. No. Yeah. No. Instead of coming this one, let it spread back around. Yeah. Now, how about this? We're going out tonight. Me and Vin are going out tonight on a, on a, on a double date with our neighbors across the street. And Titi's going to watch the kids. Yeah, I'm going to go it. watch the kids. For Titi's going to watch the kids. I mean, uh, of course I got to watch the kids. They're my little nephews. They're my heart. They're now, my are you going to watch the kids dress? Is JLo going to watch the kids or is Titi going to watch Titi the kids? Titi Jerry's going to watch the kids. Wow. Titi Jerry. Wow. Dude, just I. That's my costume for today. Now, Titi, d- l- take As a, a matter of fact, how, guy, how you guys think I look? Oh, fire. 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 Right? Did I do a yeah, good job? Fuego. You did a great job. You lit, look gorgeous. Lit, 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 yeah. Titi, let me ask you this, because you went got when you got, got your hair done today and your makeup, when you told the woman, hey, why don't you have other shades for darker people, what did she say to you and how did you feel? She didn't say shit. She just said, oh, I'm sorry. That's she, all she said. She didn't like and that. When, and when Pimp and, and, and Miss um, um, Vanity came in, I told her. That was the first thing I told you guys, right? Yeah. I said, look, she didn't, I don't like the way she did my makeup. It's like you said you didn't, didn't want, you said you didn't want to give him a tip. And then Hold Pimp up. gave him a tip. He gave him $6. It's all I had. That's all you gave him, $6. So, so well, she up. deserved a $6 tip. There you go. So that's good. Yeah, they, she deserved a $6. Because this makeup, I could have done better myself. Damn. Red, oh, holy shit. You. Well, you are but the queen. You look gorgeous, yeah. though. Honestly, you do God. look, honestly, you do look beautiful. And you do look like Robert De Niro. It is a fact. <laughs> you do. <laughs> De Niro would be so lucky. If De Niro would be so. If, if you wanted me to watch The Irishman, then make Robert De Niro look like that. Because I'm not watching it with that CGI shit. Speaking of hot guys, we think we found two boys that you would read. Oh, yeah, I saw this. The Island Boys. What do you think of the Island Island Boys, and how would they do in prison? They would do fucked up in prison. They would get stabbed up. Just for that hair, right? They would get stabbed up just for the way they look. Just for the way they they style and all that. They would have a lot of problems. You don't think they're cute? You're not into this? No, right? They're they're kids, though. Do you think they're cute, Venetia? Yeah. They're all right. They're not kids. They're like 19 years old. I think, aren't yeah. they kids? Like they're- Oh, well, are I, they actually kids? A tattoo artist tattooed their face, so they can't be Oh, a, yeah, that's a kid. true. It's true. Um, <laughs> that's true. I think they're just going through a phase. This is just- That's yeah. a hell of a yeah, phase, though. Tough phase. Tough phase. <laughs> tough phase. Um, <laughs> so, Titi, what are you going to do when you babysit my kids tonight? What are you going to do with them? But what do you, well, what does that mean? And play with the Lala. You know, I play with them, play with Tristan. Play How about with this? Kids. They're doing construction in my house, and we our garage, we turned into a little gym, and there's a table saw in there, and I walked into the gym yesterday, and Delilah was hanging off the table <laughs> saw. I was like, get out of the gym, and Titi was just in there doing squats. She's like, my butt got to look right for this <laughs> J-Lo costume. I was like, she's on the saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that shit wasn't on. <laughs> that shit was- <laughs> it wasn't on. It was off. It I was witnessed it. And she's right. It wasn't on. Was I kind of feel like I and plus I'm there. I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my. Little I feel like I've princess. dressed up like a woman more than you have these past couple of weeks. I'm just How dressed do up you like a feel. How do you feel? 
Wearing a dress. That, that's your first time wearing a dress, right? No. No, you wore a dress before. Yes. Oh, I didn't I've know. I've worn a dress many times. First time. Well, TT, we actually had his father on the podcast. <laughs> your wig is coming off your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's all oh. the way in the back. <laughs> that is disturbing. How is it now? Beautiful. Beautiful. I can't wait to do ad reads like this. <laughs> <laughs> magic yeah. spoon. It's when that you, fucking when magic you go spoon. Out, when you go out to the streets like that? Yeah. When you walk around the avenues and all over like that, dressed like that? Yeah. You would? I would go out like that, yeah. Okay. I would do it. Well, so we TT. Go, we, we going out tonight. TT, we had his father on the podcast, and he told us that as a child, he caught him cross-dressing in public. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know he did say that on one of your broadcasts. I did. I said that. He did say that on one of I remember. Why is it so hot in here? I don't know. We have the air conditioner so on. Maybe because I'm J-Lo tonight. I'm you are I should. I should have been hot. Ben Affleck. And the, well, still, you have to stay in that dress, and we have to reenact the Ben Affleck laying on J-Lo's butt picture on a boat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. have, remember when yes. I almost bought a boat a month ago? Yeah. How dumb would that have been? Dude, you would be homeless. <laughs> yeah, I would be living on my boat, which I still probably... I feel like I'm a guy, no matter what happens, I will wind up living my last years on a houseboat. Yeah, That's just who I am. Really? You feel like that. Yeah, dude. Now, you've had a tough week. You, you, you're in a dress. You went to the gay bar for well, recreation. Ready for this, TT? Let me tell you something Get what I did the other night. Here. Let me tell you what I did. What? Two nights ago. Two nights ago. <laughs> Talking to Mike, TT. Two nights ago, right? I finished doing my shows at the Comedy Cellar. It was late. I had taken a cab in. I was in the city all day. I texted Vinny. I said, are the kids sleeping? She said, yes. So I could tell just by her right. Oh, no, I'm sorry. She wrote, yeah. So I, I could already tell just by the one word, yeah, period, that she was pissed at me for God right. knows what reason. So I was like, I don't want to go home and get yelled at and all that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to stay out. So I said, where do I want to go right now? I said, I'll, I'll get a cab in about an hour. I said, where do I want to go? I'm not feeling good about myself. I said, do I want to go get pizza? Do I want to go get insomnia cookies? Do I want to go stay drinking at the comedy cellar? I said, no, here's what I'm going to do. And I walked up to 7th Avenue South on in uh, West Village, and I went to the Duplex. It's called a very famous, iconic gay right. bar. Yeah. And I went there, and I stayed there for about six drinks. Let me tell you something. The fun I had, I drank about three martinis, two vodka sodas, and a Heineken. The fun that I had with those gay men, shout out the gay men that helped me, that helped me through my depression at the duplex. You never made a girl feel so good. I, I'm telling you, the bartender, you were so nice. You helped me. You helped me. The, there was a, one guy trying to hit on me, and he was getting very creepy, and you helped me out so much. And then at the end of the night, you said, you too beautiful of a soul to be so sad, baby. And you know what? You're right. I am I am a beautiful soul. Yeah, I know I have a little fat on my shoulders, but I am a beautiful soul. <laughs> That's that's really deep. That's man. poetic. Yeah, you know. I mean, of course they're gonna hit on you. Come on, look where you are. Yeah. And then look at you. I know. Come on, talking to Mike. I know. Hey, I, of I, course they're gonna hit on. They him. hit on me. Yeah, right. You think Vinny yeah. would get mad at me if I cheated on her with a gay man? Is that does that still count? Um. I think she would. She would get mad at you and hate you for that. But you know that. What I are the noticed, chances you know I make it to Christmas I in this that house? There's some females. <laughs> There's some females that they rather you cheat on them with a man than with another woman. Let me ask you this. And how, how do you feel yes. about those females? Uh, what I feel about this, those females is like, I mean, great. I mean, that's beautiful. You like cause that? Okay. I like that because, I mean, for me, like me being a transgender, if I have a husband, I'd rather him not to mess with another transgender. I'd rather him and go and mess with a female than a transgender. Wow, really? Wow. Why is that? Wow. Yes. Tran being transgender is like wearing a reversible jacket, which I like. Yes. <laughs> but I'd rather, I'd rather my man go and be with a female than be with another transgender. That's how I feel. <laughs> Clip it! <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that's right. AOC legs. was wearing these socks yes. to the Met Gala, bitch. AOC didn't have that. <laughs> Bolitos. I can do that. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know how your penis is not coming out of that dress because you have a hog. I can do that. <laughs> I'm used to it. You, you want a new point? Yeah, why not? You know how many years I've been tucking... That I'm so used to it that I know how to hide that you, shit so good that it's not popping out. Can you give some tips to our fans on how to tuck correctly? Yeah, how do you tuck I mean, it back? You could use duct tape. You could use duct tape. Okay, so how, how do you use you it? Could use, you could use duct tape. You could put duct tape. Um, okay. Like, that, like one time, remember one of the other days that I said that I had tucked all the way back? 
And when I went to sit down, I sat on my nuts. Selling your balls. You're selling your nuts. Oh, yeah. my God. That was the worst. That's because I didn't use the strap. Oh, they got okay. straps for that. So how do you Not, say, like how yoga do you, straps? What are you talking about? No, it's a strap they sell. They even sell them in the village. They sell like the, the, the size. It looks like a vagina. Okay. And you and you and you tug and then you put it there and you put on your panties oh. and you put on your jeans. It looks just like a vagina. Do you wear that? Do you like, wear the fake, the, the simulated I vagina? Used to. I used to. Not no more. Uh, I nice. used to. Why, why no more? Because if you're going to like me, you're going to like me for who I am and for what I have. Right. Hello. That's what it is. Why I got to be having my shit for. Exactly. And let me tell you, some guys love that. They love that. Right. They love seeing a transgender and they love to see a little bit about of what they got down there. Now, yeah, that makes that. sense. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I, I saw before you were looking at some of the books that I had laying around the house and you my saw... Books. The books that you saw, you you were talking. Oh, uh, don't tell me that Jazz told you about the Civil War. Yeah, the Civil War. <laughs> so tell us about the Civil yeah, War. Shit, Who, tell you about the Civil War. I don't know shit about the Civil War. But you said you read a book in prison no, about the Civil I said, War. So what I did you used learn? To read books, but I used to forget what I used to read. What's I one read, thing you know about the Civil I War? And then I said about the harbor. Remember in Hawaii, the harbor, the what was Pearl the, Harbor. Pearl Harbor. And Jazz said, "What do you know? What do you know?" about pro harbor and i said that they make pearls <laughs> <No>. <laughs> pro yeah, harbor they made pearls pearl. yeah, they made pearls I said out that, of people they make pearls and what do you know about the civil war <laughs> and what do you know about the civil war they throw bombs <laughs> yeah, they, throw <laughs> they bombs. shoot at each other they kill each other the civil war is between that, the north and the south that's what the civil war who is between yeah, the north I and know. the south whose side are you on the north or the south in the civil war whose side would you fight with the south Wow, okay, controversial. Why? Why would J-Lo fight with the South in the Civil War? What's a good, why do you think so? I don't know, I just picked the South. Okay, well, you should read the book then. You'd want to be on the North. The South was the ones that wanted slaves. Yeah. So you don't want slaves. <laughs> yeah. You would I like, mean, they're still probably... slaves. What the hell are you talking about? We still got slaves in this motherfucking Where world. Where are the slaves? Where? You think they're as a still, prisoner? Look at, look, at these, look at these Mexican people. They work for pennies. Mm -hmm. So they treat them like slaves. Right. They do. So Very true. Really, you really come to think about it, these Mexican people, they, they kill themselves, building a whole house or whatever and everything. They pay them pennies. Right. That's like being a slave. That is. Know? Well, even being they a prisoner. What about them. being an inmate? That was like slavery, right? Even in a way, being too. Being an inmate, we only get like 10 cents. Uh, like, we only get like every two weeks, I used to get paid $6. Wow. And I used to work my ass off. What was your jobs in prison? $6. Yes, that's what I want to know. What did you make in prison? What was your I job? I used to do carpentry. I used to Look, just like Jesus. Build and maintenance. Yeah, I used to get. Imagine Jesus I does get, come back and he's transgender. Go ahead. Yeah, no, TT is Jesus. I oh, do electric. TT is I used Jesus. To do a lot of things in prison. Yeah. Blow so, jobs. <laughs> well, we know that. So, what did you do? Carpentry and what else? Carpentry, electric. Do you know uh, how to do electric work? Maintenance. Like, all right, wow. on, what, are you meaning everything. on the prison itself or on products you would send outside the prison? Yeah. Why you mean? Because don't like prisoners no. make like license plates? And yeah, they make like, they got different jails for that. They got a right. jail where they make license plates. They got other jails where they make tables. They got other oh jails God. where they make. Smoking a cigarette in the house is illegal, and that's why you're not going to tell your mom because you're not a rat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you yes, think? What I, do you think? You think I'm gonna stay? Be, you think I'm gonna be kicked out of the house before Christmas by Vinny? What do you think? Oh my God, that is your. You, only you know that. If I get only thrown, you and Vinny knows that. Let me, I'm not getting into that. Let me ask. Because tú está caliente, caliente like my nalga. La ya caliente, <laughs> baby. Más gasolina, you, uh, you, my uh, you better put some gas in that motherfucker. Uh, absolutely. Uh, that shit is getting empty. I know. Let me ask you. Can I live with you if I get thrown out? No, she's oh shit, that. she's up. She's pissed. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not smoking. It's not on fire. No fuego. <laughs> Of course you could come and live with me. Yeah? Yeah. That's the say, show. You could I get on thrown the out you and then I, on the couch. I live with TT. I got to live not? with TT for a bit. Why not? That's what it is. Of I can't. And then I you guys, you. for healthcare reasons, you have to marry then her. Pimp could marry be, then, <laughs> then Pimp could be there all the time and we no, could do our no, th day and that, No, that's the thing. Homeless Pimp still stays in the guest room at the house, but I'm not <laughs> here anymore. Now, TT, to go back to the prison. So it's a sweatshop. Who is in charge of you when you're working at prison? Yeah. On the civilians. 
civilians. I used to have the civilians. I used to rap to all the time. civilians or surveillance. Yeah. What are you saying? Civili- a civilian. Like a civilian. Reg- so you're saying a, a civilian. Pr- up with civilian clothes and everything. So like you're saying my job. I'm not. I don't work for the. Pr- my job is to watch the prisoners in the prison. I go home every night. I'm not a prison if guard. Talking to Mike. Shop. Talking- if you have a shop like building menace, electric floor covering and everything, that's your shop. Right. Then you, that's your shop. So you the owner, you run that shop. Wait, here, hold on. My dad's FaceTiming me. Too. Oh, perfect. Oh, hold on one second, one second. I want to go out to the city just like that. There you go. Hi, Sorry, puppy. we're doing the podcast. Hi. There you go. Huh? Look at me, yes. Hi. Hey, wait, sit down. You're blocking the camera. Hold on. Hi. Thank you. Have you seen my boy Chris? <laughs> I told you I'm going to bring some wigs up. All right. Yes. That would be so cool. Thank you. Ask your dad if you would smash. What do you think, Dad? If, if you and Diane ever got a divorce, uh, is that something you're into right there? Uh, of course. I'm, I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Thanks, we got our clip. <laughs> I got to be honest, I feel the best I've ever felt in my life, and it's because of one reason and one reason only, Magic Spoon cereal. I love Magic Spoon so much. It's keto-friendly. It's only got 13 to 14 grams of, um, it's got 13 to 14 grams of protein, uh, only four net grams of carbs, that's what I meant to say, and no sugar. And I've eaten so much Magic Spoon in the last couple of months that I've turned into the final form of who I want to be. I was a caterpillar when I was eating those other cereals, and I'm a butterfly after Magic Spoon. And what you're seeing right now, I love Magic Spoon. I love their new flavors. It's a guiltless midnight snack. And I do a lot of things that make me feel guilty at midnight. Magic Spoon is not one of them. Some of the other things I don't really want to talk about right now, but Magic Spoon is not one of them. And I love their new flavors. Cookies and cream, maple waffle, cocoa, all the flavors they have. Cinnamon is probably my favorite with a little almond milk. I absolutely love Magic Spoon. It is my favorite cereal, and I want to give you guys a discount right now. All you have to do is go to magicspoon.com slash chaos and put in chaos at checkout. You're going to save $5 off your order. Magicspoon.com slash chaos. Use the promo code chaos. Save $5 off your order. It's amazing. It is backed with 100% happiness guarantee. If you don't like for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. I love this country. I love Allah. I love Magic Spoon. Here's two things I love in my life. Skin and Austin, Texas. That's why I like Disco. It's a clean skincare brand based in Austin, Texas. Texas. All disco products are created specifically for male skin issues like under eye bags, dark circles, acne, razor burn, oily skin, dry skin, and wrinkles. Not enough people focus on men's skin care. It's all geared towards the woman. Finally, this company, Disco, is doing stuff for men, and they sent me their product. They have the eucalyptus uh, face rub. It's like a charcoal thing. It is amazing. My face feels fantastic. For the first time in my life, when I look in the mirror, I see an actual beautiful young woman, and it's because of Disco face products. I love my face. It literally... Disco face products has made my face feel so soft and young that I do look like a little girl, and I like it. And that's what you want. I have soft, great features. The exfoliating face scrub is amazing. The hydrating face moisturizer hydrates my... It feels like my face is drinking water all day, every day. The face cleanser stick fights acne and oily skin. And you know my face. It's freaking oily as shit. But I'm telling you, this stuff, when they sent it to my house, I was like, what is this? And then I started using it. I use it all day, every day. TSA approved and very portable. I bring my disco products with me to the gym all the time. I really, really do. The charcoal stuff that they have, you put it all over your face, and it's like you have charcoal all over your face, which I know technically is blackface, but you're in the shower and nobody has to see it, and it makes your skin just feel and look fresh. If you want to get a nice discount, go to www.let's disco.com slash chaos or enter chaos at checkout for 30 percent off your first order that's let's disco.com slash chaos 30 percent off your first order thank you disco prison work camps so yeah, prison work camps. just like if you you will be a civilian and you come into the prison to, ha- to get a job mm-hmm. and you run 
a business that like floor carving or anything, you get to work with the inmates. You're the one that runs the inmates, not the COs. Not the COs. Now, actually, no. this reminds me of a story. In the Hamptons, they would have inmates come and renovate their houses and they'd get it at a cheap rate. They wouldn't have to pay them half. Yeah, they got inmates that go out to the road. Yeah. They let them go out to the road and clean, like, the sidewalks and, and everything. So did you get to do that, TT? Were there no, times you got to leave the max. prison? I was too dangerous. They didn't want to let me out. So I was the first max. time... <laughs> So let me ask you a question. So when you got, what I would stab a motherfucker right away if they would say something stupid to me. What they, was they didn't want to let me go out? What was the last? What was the last prison? What was the last prison you did time at? What was the name of the last prison you at? The last prison I was at was Governor. Governor. Now, how Governor. many years were you in that prison? I was only there like for four months. You only there for four months. So what about the one before that? The one after that, I was in Mohawk. Mohawk for how many facility. years? I was there like for a year. Oh, oh so how, why did you keep getting moved prisons? Because people used to always fight over me. That's they the all, real reason. I always used to start a riot, people arguing over me and everything, always fighting because I used to be with some dude and the other one used to like me. They used to get into a fight. There was always commotion. There was always drama and everything. They said because of me. All the shit is going on, so they used to move me from prison to prison. So you actually... So I never really lasted in a prison more than two years. So that's actually beneficial, though, for you, because a lot of times... I used to look like this in prison. Right. I used to dress like this. Yeah. I used to make with the sheets and everything. I used to make little gowns like this. Wow. I used to do my... I didn't have no wigs, but I used to do I my I would like hair, to see that, the prison Met Gala. Everything. Yeah, so, I used to have my makeup. Seals used to bring me makeup. Females, oh male God. seals, they used to bring me makeup. Oh, lipstick, so they were nice everything. to you. The seals were nice yeah, to you. There was, some of them were nice to me. Some of them were mean. Some of them were assholes. Let me yeah. ask you a question, though. So you actually, that was beneficial for you because you had a lot of times when a prisoner goes to a prison, they stay in that prison. They don't leave it. They don't get to go outside the doors into freedom. Not once. No. But you would actually get to see the outside. You go in a helicopter, take a drive, right? Yeah, or, or when you yeah. would drive. No, I didn't get to see when I was in a helicopter. I was almost dying. No, but what about when I'm saying when they you got transferred to another but prison? I was almost dead. But when you got transferred to another prison yeah. because you caused a riot yeah. or, or, right. or, or was with a guy. Yeah. Would, did they let you look out the windows on the road from one prison to the of next? Of course. Yeah. Oh, so that's you go so, on a bus. You so that was nice. Big ass Prisoner's bus. So that was nice then. Or you go in a van. They put you in a little van. Did they ever pull over, get you some McDonald's, some Burger King? One time, they yeah. They did? Time, yeah. Wow. And then what? One they let? Time. They took the cuffs off and let you eat? No, hell no. You eat with your fucking cuffs like this. What did you get? A filet fish No, they just got me a cheese fucking burger. Uh, a cheese fucking burger. Well, it was something. You know how long I haven't tried a, a, a cheeseburger from McDonald's? How, how did it feel, that first bite? How did it feel? It feels so great, so juicy. Like, you miss it, you know? Right, because the yeah. burger's in prison, no bueno. No bueno. Nothing in prison is good. Remember the other day we were eating that food at Jasmine? Yes. <laughs> and it <laughs> tasted just like prison food. It did. <laughs> I was on the Patreon. Chris was high out of his I mind. I was high, yeah. If you go to <laughs> patreon.com slash Christy Comedy, I took edibles and we ate really bad yeah. food that Vinny made. And no, that, but it, I, it actually was good, really, though. It was good. It, it was, was good. good. But it just reminded me of prison food because that's how they cook prison food. All smooshy and yes. all kind of shit like TT that. TT did say it tasted like prison food. And then I though. took an edible and we ate it. And it was a very, yeah. very fun episode. Now, TT, do they, they never did Halloween stuff in jail? No, she said no. They, don't do no. no. they do weddings, though. They do weddings. So how is wow. a wedding? They does, do weddings. They throw wedding rice, go? raw rice and everything when you get married and all that. Now, TT, let me yard. ask you this. Because yeah. we have a spiral staircase, what are the chances one of them, one, a member of your family gets married in this house? What are the chances? Somebody's going to get married in here. Jazz told me her mom got married in their apartment. Stop. Yeah, they did. And I, I believe that. <laughs> do you want to get married in my, in my house? No, I want to see you and Vinny get married in this house. Hey, hey <laughs> cut that part out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hey, I want to see Go you and Vinny come down the stairs with the wedding gown. Well, the, there's a good chance I'll trip if I came down the stairs because I've been falling left and right. I fell into a I heard, I heard you fell down the stairs. I fell down those down. stairs. I fell in, in, in the driveway yeah. and I fell into a parked car getting my steps on the other day. The car, I hit yeah. the car and went beep. <laughs> was fucking, I don't know what's been happening. I've just been falling left and right. It's yes. interesting that this cigarette is not lit, but I, I'm acting as if I'm smoking it. I'm going like this, and I'm putting it on and talking with it. And I kind of like, it feels it goes with the decor of what it is. You look oh. so great. I you love really the way you look. Really think so? You look so You really beautiful. do? Um, um, yes, yeah, babe. Um, let me ask you, 
there was Dave Chappelle. We talked about this a little bit on the Patreon, but Dave Chappelle did a special a couple of weeks ago on Netflix. They He did some jokes about transgender people that people didn't think were funny or didn't like, but whatever. I'm, I'm just going to stay by. I'm just going to stay you know, down the middle because it's like, I love comedy. I love Chappelle, but it's like, whatever. Everyone has the voice. Everyone has the... You know, everybody got their own opinions. They, want. Either they like it or they don't like it. But everybody let me got their, their own opinions. No, but listen, here's what There's happened. There's a lot of other things that people like and don't like. Okay, but here's what happened. The, you know? the employees, what, I want to ask you what happened. The employees of Netflix, some employees of Netflix staged a walkout the other day and they walked out of Netflix and said, we're not coming back to work unless you remove Dave Chappelle's special. Do you think the people that walked out should keep their jobs or lose their jobs? I don't know what they I just keep, choked on. They, they should keep. They should keep their job, but don't come back. Then don't, you're like, look if you don't like it, look, go somewhere else. I'm saying, why? I mean, just because he was talking about transgenders, he had a show of transgenders. Yeah, no, he was doing jokes uh, about transgender people. And? That's all. Were they bad jokes, though? No, they're not bad jokes. All right, then. They're no. great jokes. Just, and you, just, you, did you see some somebody inside Netflix today leaked what that special cost to make, including paying him? No, what was it? $29 million. $29 Allegedly, million. that's what I heard leaked. Wow. For it, for, so what did he get, like $27 million? It can't have cost millions to shoot that. No, so he got $28.5 million or whatever <laughs> it is. Cost 500 grand. The homeless pimp filmed it. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's a lot of money. What would you do with $30 million, TT? Oh, my God. Honestly, I'll, I'll give you $30, $30 mil- million. dollars, I'll make sure my whole family is set. For See, life. I like that's what you do first is you my take care nephews, of... Nephews, <clears throat> all my Where nephews, nieces, all my Where would I be on that nieces, list? All my sisters. I'll make sure they're all set up. They're set would you take life. care of me? No, I wouldn't take care of you. You don't <laughs> have to take good care of me. Well, I'm going to buy you a used course. car. If you're part of the family, of course I would take care of you. That's now, fine. what's the first thing you do for yourself with that money? Myself, the first thing I would do for myself for that money is do my mom's whole graveyard. Oh, okay. That would the first thing I would do with How would you? What would you do with it? I would fix it up real beautiful. Fix, fix up like her headstone and all that. Everything, everything. Nice. Everything. Would you get like a sarcophagus? Even though you, you know, but... It'll make me feel good. It'll make me That's happy. That's awesome. I met you. I got to meet your mom. I met, I met your mom... Uh, Delilah was just born when I met your mom. Then she after was so that, sweet. I would just take a trip by myself with nobody. Where just would you go? By myself. Where would you go? Any I'll destination? I'll probably go to the Bahamas. I'll probably go to California. I'll probably go to Florida. I already went to Florida, which I love. We're going to take you to California too. Are so beautiful. I love. They're down to earth. I love Florida. Absolutely. Love I it. love it. Love it. I love it. They yeah. treated me so nice. The people in Florida are. are very nice people. Yeah, nobody was rude or nothing. Nobody said nothing stupid. Everybody was happy to see me. It, it was wonderful. They it have was, a reputation. It, it, yeah, it was so beautiful. I love people. I love all kind of color people. Right. I just love people. Right. You know, you could be black, white, yellow, green, purple, orange. I don't care what color you are. Yellow, black, you purple, You are living green. so... So you are beautiful to me. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I like. I like to meet different kind of people. I like to hang out with people and have fun. Why Don't you like to go out and meet different kind of people? It's cool. the best. That's, yeah, that's what I, I, I wish it. I could do. I, I can't do it. it anymore. I love it. You get tired of seeing the same face. Welcome Every day. Don't life. you get tired of seeing the same face? Of course. Not this guy, not this no, guy. No, not this beautiful Everybody guy. Loves this yeah. Everybody loves this guy. Everybody loves it. Yeah, your cigarette broke. I, wait, what can you do? <laughs> my cigarette broke, so is my spirit. Um, <laughs> so this is the Halloween episode. Do you have any good Halloween stories That's from what your life? Next, what would be a, what would be a, a nice trick-or-treating? Because you said you really didn't get to experience any Halloweens in prison, but there were a couple you of... You know why? I never really dressed up as a Halloween. Really? Like, I, like my whole life. Maybe when I was a kid, I remember when I was a kid, my what, mom yeah. dressed me as a girl for the first time. Really? Do you think yeah. your mom made you gay? I think she knew. Right. Because mothers know everything. It's yes. like you cannot hide nothing from your mother. Yeah. Nothing. What your do you mother think gave knows it away? When you're lying. She knows when, when you hide. She knows when something's wrong with you. Yeah. She knows everything. Moms know everything. What do you think? What everything. do you? Th- why do you think she knew you were gay? What do you think was the one thing that gave Maybe it away? Maybe because the way I used to be, like more stuck to her all the time. Mm-hmm. That could. That doesn't mean gay because you love your I mom. I always used to play with my sister's dogs. Okay, that's one. Like I for Christmas, just- they used to buy me them GI Joes and everything. Right. 
and I used to, and run you used to, to the blow side, them. And I used to, <laughs> I used to jerk them <laughs> off. I used to jerk them <laughs> off. She was like, she walked in one day, you're giving a GI Joe a blowjob. She's like, I think my son's gay. <laughs> one time, me and my brother, we were taking a shower together. We were little kids. We were kids. And we had a wee wee. We were giving it water. Yeah. We wanted the water for them to drink. Uh, a little wee wee. Oh my! Wee-wees. God. <laughs> oh and my. we got my drink, drink. We said they could drink, right? I was telling my brother, they yeah, could drink water. They could drink water. We yeah. didn't know. We didn't know. We were little kids, little baby kids. <laughs> yeah. I know. Sometimes one time I was giving my uh, my daughter Delilah a bath, and I came in and she was drowning all her Barbies. She was like, "You're gonna pay." <laughs> I was like, "We need to get this kid in therapy." Shout out BetterHelp.com. <laughs> Promo code chaos. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you ever did as a kid, like that you got caught and were yelled at? As a kid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like under eighteen, because we know when you're eighteen, you know, you, you have pulled off an armed robbery. But other than that, oh, <laughs> I remember I had a teddy bear. I had it. I had. I had a like a little, like a little doll, and I was in the bathroom, and my mom came in, and I had made a big hole on the doll. Okay, and I was pumping the doll. Nice. While How I old were you? Taking a wow. shower. I was young. Oh, wow. I was real young. How young? Like about seven or eight. Wow, seven, wow. you're already p- pumping the doll. Yeah. Nice, very seven nice. Wow. I'm what kind of doll? Was it a female doll, male doll? No, it was a male doll. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what go. can you do? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, that happens. You know, sometimes you got to fuck the flash. Um, yeah. oh I, 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 Earmuff still <laughs> Oh, shit. I, oh, she <laughs> snuck <laughs> back in. Hey, baby. Delilah, can you do me a favor? Can you go get me some <laughs> coquito? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, honey. Um, you know what? For, for, for Halloween... For Halloween, I, because, I know, because I, you know, for me, for Halloween, this is like having little kids now, it's like Halloween becomes alive again, like, especially my oldest is six, you know, Violet, Tristan's 11, you know, like, Halloween becomes, like, very special, like, I look forward to it, like, we're going to do a trunk or treat this year, where all people back up their cars, um, and open up their trunks, and they all got candy in their trunks, and they put it in, like, a big circle, and that's what we're going to do for the kids. And then we're going to go trick-or-treating, I think, on this block. Um, you can't trust everything about trick-or-treating. You can't. Oh, no. Well, why? You know how Uh-oh. many times they try to kill little kids? They put razors and everything and oh. candies and everything. Who's doing that? <laughs> ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> It's Why so itchy. Yes, yeah, I'm fucking. I'm sweating under Just this wig. Just take it wig. off. Take the wig off. I'm not taking it Just off. Just take it off. Come on, I'm let's not go taking it off. off. No, let, I'm not taking my see. wig off. Come on, let no. us just show. Keeps.com. No. I'm not taking my wig off. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's oh, go. Oh, win. Oh, let's go. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. What the fuck? Let's Who cares? Let's Put some pantyhose on your head and call it a day. What the hell? Call it a day. It Let's doesn't go. matter. It, let me, let me try your wig on. Let's let try it out. Let me see your wig. Okay. Let me see your wig. Yeah, let's switch wigs. Yeah. Let's switch wigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This one smells amazing. <laughs> look at that. Oh, my God. How oh, my God. This one? You look good. Oh, my God. You look like, you look like, a, like, a, like, you know, like a World War II, like, you know, typist. I like. I, I look like a princess. Like you do. Of, like a like Diana Prince, Diana Princess, or something. Diana like Princess, or, Princess yeah. Diana, very, princess, very Hillary Clinton, like Princess Diana, or something. Oh. Like what, some oh. kind of prince or something. You do look like a prince. Your phone's Diana upside Diana. down, but okay. My what? Your phone is upside down. <laughs> <laughs> not, I don't have it on. I'm just looking. Oh, at you're just looking at the reflection. You made me take off my wig. Something that I would never do. Let me ask but you. But you know that's DT Jerry. DT Jerry, Jerry don't do care. whatever. DT Jerry's here for everybody. Now let's pull up some pictures. I want I want to do a little history game with you. Well, you ever heard of the game Fuck Mary Kill? You know what I'm talking fuck, about? Fuck Mary Kill. No, I never. So I'm going to give you three options. Mary. I'm going to give you three guys. You have to either choose. You can only do one for each. You either f them, marry them, or kill them. So who you think I look like? With this? Right there, like that wig. I think you look like um. I think you look like one of the. I think you look like the new Golden Girls. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That's what I think. You look like a you look like a 1940s like you know um, military wife. <laughs> like your husband just went away to World War II and she's gonna come back and you're waiting for him to bake hey, cookies. Hillary with Clinton. Dip. Hillary Clinton. You do look like a, you look like Puerto Rican Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah, you right. You do look like yeah. You kind of look like that a little I bit. I like. I really like Hillary Clinton. You she do. Was cool. 
What did you like about Hillary Clinton? I liked everything. She, she, I liked everything about her. You would have voted for her? Yeah, I would have voted for I her. I thought you were more... I did. Have you ever, you ever voted for Hillary Clinton? I did. Oh, my God. A hundred times. I definitely did. Uh, yeah, I'm sad she that she... Said, oh. <laughs> uh, Wait, but you know that she went uh, against Trump. Didn't you tell me the last episode that I was on that you like Trump? So I who know. would you have choose it, uh, chosen if you could have voted really in that? I really wanted one? her to win, but I really wanted her to win. But when Trump won the election, I was still happy. So you would have voted for Hillary, but you are yeah, okay I would have voted Trump for Hillary. But since he became president, president, I still got to like him because the way he was. Uh, yeah. Such a great person. Yeah. Such a great person. Uh, yeah. uh, TT Jerry, just you just you're the person you just roll along with the punches. Yeah. You say whatever, whatever, and you just keep it going. And that's what I like yeah. about you. Is you said, listen, it wasn't my first pick. I wanted to go with Hillary Clinton, but Donald Trump won, so now I like Donald Trump. That's what America needs. That's what America needs. That is. I think you look much better with long hair. You like this in long hair? Yes. You think I should grow it out? I've been you wanting look to. Much better with, with long hair. I've been wanting to grow it out. Um, oh my God. I want to pull up three pe- you figures. You look like a fat bitch that gave birth to 12 kids. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We're about self-esteem on this podcast. <laughs> and positivity. So um, let's do fuck, marry, kill. So one of them you have to fuck, one you have to marry, one you have to kill. So I want to pull up three pictures. First, let's do George Washington. George Washington. Famous people from history. George Washington, what do we think? Do you want to... Okay, so we'll pull up George Washington. Look at Trump right next to George Washington. What do you think? Would you fuck him? Would you marry him? Would you kill him? George Washington, if you had to be with him. Now, do you know who George Washington is? Of course. Who is he? the first president. There you go. So what do you think? Fuck, marry, kill. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, let's go. Gandhi next. Why are we fucking him? Yeah, why would you fuck George Washington? He was the first president. So you guys, right. One of the you get that. Yeah. You're the first lady yeah, then. That's right. But now you're yeah. the first lady. First lady yeah. of the world. Okay. So, Mar- okay, so, that, the, so, so she fucked George Washington. So now we're down to marry or kill. So let's pull up Gandhi next. Gandhi. What do we Gandhi's think? Gandhi's the old man. Would you marry Gandhi or kill him? No, I would kill him. You would kill Gandhi? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then the third person is, is only marriage left. So let's put off Adolf Hitler. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. Hey, I was kidding. Hey, no, kill him. no, I was kidding. I was no. kidding. Um, I was gonna ask Martin Luther King because I know Martin Luther King because you really like black men. So he was Martin Luther King. Would he be your dream husband? No, he would not be my dream husband, but he would be my side man. Oh. Martin Luther King would be your side piece. Yeah. Wow. Why not your actual husband? He would be my side piece. Why? Why would you say he'd be your side piece and not he, your main he, man? He's not all that. You don't think he's all he that? You don't think Martin that. Luther King is all that? No. Why? He wasn't all that handsome to me. Martin Luther King was not that handsome. Who's he? He would hand- just probably be my side piece. So okay, so there you go. Martin Luther King would be TT side piece. So who's your dream husband? Who's your dream husband then? Because I know he's a, I know you 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 really uh, like black men. So who was your dream hottie husband? I thought it was going to be Martin Luther King. I mean, he I would think he would be everybody's dream husband. He's MLK, but you say he's a side piece for you. Yeah. He's a side chick. So who would be your dream husband? Would it be Idris Elba? You know no, who that is? I really liked the Mike Jordan. Michael Jordan. Oh. Wow. Yeah. So Michael Jordan's your husband and MLK's your side piece. Yes. I mean, that's, wow. you must have some good pussy. Very good. That's what they used to tell me in prison all the time. That's why they used to be killing and stabbing everybody in prison. <laughs> you, had, you had the best. What, what, what do you think made it, what do you think it made better? What did you do to keep up with it? What? To keep up with your pussy. What did you do to keep up with it? <laughs> Douche all the time. You would douche a lot? <laughs> douche that motherfucker. You would douche it. Nice. Just keep it clean. You never know. You never know. So you have to douche it a little bit. That's what never it is. Never know. So you douche it. You never douche know, it. my man. I, sh- I should be douching. <laughs> Just, Vinny's going to be douching you in a second. Keep I it know. Up. I know. Keep it up. What can you do? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Let's burn it down. <laughs> um, do you see this, TT? You know how much we love to eat here. The supply chain crisis is coming for pizza. They're saying pizza supply chains now are getting affected. There may not be any pizza moving into 2022. Can you live Why? in a world Why? without pizza? Why? Because of supply chain issues, because of COVID stuff, and nobody wants to work. You can make your own pizza. 
How would you make your own pizza? If we ran out of pizza supply chains, how would you, you make a pizza have, in prison? That means you're going to run out of cheese. You're going to run out of sauce. Actually, the grocery stores are running out of stuff. No, that is actually yeah. very true. You go to a grocery store now, the sh every aisle is not, and, they and, are not stocked. And even and, in where you are, V, right? They're not stocked. And also, they're running out of the color blue. I heard that. I heard that you stop, people better start stacking up on food and all that because they, they, pretty soon they're going to start running out of a lot of stuff. Wow. Now, I, I watched Dang. why, like why we're having this issue. And according to the 20 minute video I watched, it's because we just can't hire enough truck drivers. There's well, no truck drivers. Well, I heard that's hire why, enough truck that's drivers. Why, that's what you read. That's what yeah. you read. No, but I also heard that the boats, boats are stuck in ports for like months at a time because if one boat like doesn't make their uh, uh, poor, uh, slip time or whatever and it gets pushed back, you it takes like boats like weeks to load and unload. So each boat, yeah. you know the big containers on the boats? Yeah. Each boat carries 1,100 containers. Right. So they need guys to pull it off the boat and they don't have... So in other words, a boat will just be sitting at the dock and they have no men just slowly. or women to pull it off. But let's be honest, men. Um, <laughs> oh I mean, there's not many women... Majority men. Can I comfortably say majority of the people of who would be pulling the freight yes. off boats are men? I mean, yes. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Martha's Vineyard heiress is. Uh, she's up for grabs. You need to be with an heiress. You need to be an heiress. You need to be I with need a to royal be with a rich man. alien. Just like I said the other day. That's what you need to be with. I need to a fucking alien. No, but seriously, TT, why two a years? Why have you not? Why, why have you not went on a date? Why have you not like? At nah, least explored. I, I, I want to do meet somebody. I haven't met somebody. Anybody is listening right now? Anybody out there that would like to go out on a date with Titi Jerry? What are the three biggest qualifications that man needs to have? Tell him right now the three biggest things, the three most funny. Number one, being keep it real. Funny is number one. Funny, keep it real. Keep it real, number two. Because nothing bothers me. You keep it real with me, everything is cool. What's three? Okay. And number three, Good sex, baby. That's what it is. Good sex. Do they have to be Good gay, or can, or will you be willing to? And turn it's them? not all about sex either. It's not all about sex. What else is you it know, about? Just hang out and have a good time. Yes. Right. Do they need to be gay or, or can if they be you straight? Wanna, you don't want to fool around. We fool around. You don't want to fool around. We don't fool around. But we have a beautiful time. And what's an ideal date? Where are they bringing you? Where they got to bring me? Yeah. Where Where would you like to go? What is an ideal? Where would you like time? to be taken to? I like to. I don't. I really don't. I really don't mind where they take me to. As anywhere, well, anywhere, anywhere. But then I, you don't I want them taking no you to McDonald's. They, they, they could take me to McDonald's, but as long as we having a good time, I don't care where they take me. They could take me to White Castle, which is the cheapest hamburgers. Uh, well, so I don't care. We're gonna limit this to just men. No, I women. don't care. No Yo, women. But right? Treat me with respect. I'll treat you with oh, respect. Oh, who's that? Speaking of that, is that a guy? Bye. Up oh, credit and union. I, I was one of them. <laughs> But I actually have Who was that guy that called? That was Richie. Richie? Yeah. Now what? Okay, tell us a little bit about Richie, if you don't mind. Richie is a guy that I met. And he's been after me for the longest since he, I've been out of prison. Now, where did he? But where did Richie I meet you? I really don't like him like that. Why not? But he likes you. Cause he's he's too aggressive. He's like too demanding. Right. Oh. And I don't like guys that want to be so demanding and so aggressive or nothing. I I, I I don't go with that. They're assholes. You know, like really assholes. Honestly, yeah. from the yeah. side right now, you have my mother's exact hairstyle. I do. That's what I'd say. When I'm looking Your at it from mommy? the side, it looks like if I just close my eyes and just look at the back, it looks like my mom. Yeah. <laughs> like if I if you had a lean cuisine in your hand and you were like, what, what do you want to eat, honey? We just have lean cuisines. I think you're my mom. Okay. Why don't we do a, a dating show for TT on the February 5th show you have coming up? The February 5th show. Because well, when is this coming out? Tuesday. Also, we won't be announced yet, though. Yeah. But the, I have a big New York City show coming February 5th. The tickets are going on sale uh, nice. November 2nd. The tickets are going on sale. I can't really announce. I can't really announce uh, the venue. It's the Beacon Theater. Who gives a shit? Um, the tickets are going on sale November 2nd. I mean, we're making this whole big production. I've just fucking... <laughs> Just set the alarms on your phone for November 2nd. Chrissy D is doing the Beacon Theater, okay? In New York, goddamn city. I'm coming home, Upper West yes. Side. I'm going to go do an hour, and then I'm going to bring T.T. Jerry yes. on at the end of it. I'm so going to be there. So if you're not there, I'm it's gonna your be loss. There. Because I swear to God, be I'm coming. Be there, guys. I'm, I'm going to be there. It's going to be great. 
Tiki's gonna be there. It's gonna be great as long as she doesn't get arrested because she's I'm gonna bleep oh, yeah. that out. God damn it! Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh yeah, we gotta bleep that out. But uh, I, anyway, I think it'd be great. Anyone in the New York area will bring you on stage to dance with Tiki if you pass. Yes. Yeah. You come to the show, you might anybody have a chance. Anybody come to the show, anybody that you pick from the audience, anybody you pick from the audience will have a dance with Titi Jarrett. Yes. And they have to be your type. They have to be your type. And no, I was gonna not really. They don't got to be my type. Yes, and if they, you're... I was huh? going to say, no, if, if anybody can come out and dance with TT, and if, if you're single and available and TT likes you, maybe you could get a date. Maybe get a date with TT. You're not going to miss out. You're not going to regret it. Believe me. You're not going to regret it because I'm a good cooker. You're good. I will okay. cook for you, good loving, caress you, watch movies together, tickle each other. There tickle each other. No, we'll I have like a beautiful tickle. time. I will treat you like a baby. Now, okay. You well, will love me. <laughs> you lost me you will at love the me. end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're like, I'll change your diaper. I'll feed yeah, you I'll in the bottle. Your diaper. That's what it is. Well, yeah, you should. I think I could be a beautiful housewife. Uh, you uh, are. You I'll look be, like a beautiful I'll housewife. Be such a great yeah. housewife. And a great mother, an excellent mother. Yes, you think you could raise a, a baby all on your own? All on my own. Really? I could raise like 10 kids all on my own. Do you dream of like breastfeeding? Would you love to have had the opportunity to breastfeed? No, I know. Yeah, I had, I had a guy I used to breastfeed him. <laughs> in prison. <laughs> I had a few of them in prison. I used what do to you breastfeed mean, you used to breastfeed them. guys? <laughs> I used to breastfeed them of a couple of them in prison. How? I used to give it to them. Hey, here. Yeah, and your milk it. would come out? Yeah, a little bit. What? Oh, a little bit. Men can produce milk? Yes. Oh, well, because you want the from estrogen the therapy, mo- from though. From the moans, yeah. From the moans? Yeah. Not the, no, yeah, no. the moans. From yeah, the what moans. Was- Oh, oh them, them you know hormones the the from the about. whores. From the whores. <laughs> now, what was the usual like? What was the kinky stuff they liked in prison? The most kinky stuff they used to like. Um, everything. Slap them around. What would you do? What was your thing? Me doing the kinky stuff to them. Yeah. Yeah, I was sticking my finger up that butt. Okay. Yeah, they used to love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who doesn't love that? I love that. But you know what was the whole shit? And every time a guy, a guy used to tell me when I was in prison, he goes, pass by my cell. <laughs> pass. So I used to, I used, sometimes I used to be in my cell with my little, my little t-shirt and my panties on. So a guy oh, you were Winnie to, the Pooh a guy, <laughs> <laughs> a guy used to, a guy used to pass by my cell and then he goes, yo, psst, let me see, let me see. So, you know, I turn around, I flash in my butt and they go, no, no, turn around. I said, what you mean? He goes, no, that, that, that. Motherfuckers wanted to see the other thing. What's Dog your ass niggas. <laughs> Dog ass niggas. Dog ass niggas. That's, they got a lot of them in prison like that. Wow. Yeah. Dog ass niggas that you would not think that that's what they like. They want to see a pee pee. Yeah. Wow. Do we show it to yeah. them? No, I will reject it. Oh, wow. So you don't. Because I feel like a woman when I'm with a man. I don't feel like a guy and like i said last time if i'm gonna be with a guy and i'm dressing like a woman and i'm gonna be with another guy and, and he wants me to hit him or anything uh, or he wants to play with my shit i'd rather go with a bitch with a real woman because i want the guy to make me feel like a woman like a bitch not like like a fag or, or, or nothing like that what a great episode so <laughs> i'm 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 i'm, 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 I'm 60, 70 percent woman when I'm with a man. Sixty to seventy percent woman when you're with a man. Nice. Yeah. I'm sixty to seventy percent woman pretty much twenty four seven. Yeah. <laughs> so this story, I just want to go to this story quick. Is a a really rich woman who inherited her parents' money gave it all to a psychic for a her advice. Psychic. Yeah. Why would and you do she do that? She didn't leave nothing to their family, her family, or nothing. Well, she spent it all on the psychic. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, she gave the it all. Did the psychic convince her to do that? That this would be like in good and fortune. And why did she do? She end up committing suicide. No, she just poor. Now nah, she's poor. Do you believe in psychics, TT? You knowing all you know about the streets and the real world you've lived in the you know the the real like hell I that you've seen. I do believe in you psychic. Believe. I do believe in psychic. You believe there's an energy out there. Yeah, I believe there's an energy out you there. You believe when you die, it's not the end. I believe when you die, it's not the end. Yes. Right. I and believe, you believe that's that, life after death. And you believe there are people. Do so you did, believe that's life after death? Uh, yes, I do. I do believe there's yeah, life look after at death. You. you just look like you just came from the death. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I do. I look like a Civil War wife. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, I look like a... You, I, I think... I think... Um, I do think there's life after death. Um, I think that... Um, oh, my agent's calling me. That's good. 
Um, that should yeah. be good. That's that's never a good sign. Um, well, I mean, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I mean, who cares? Um, they, um, I do think there's life after death. I do. Th- I th- I personally believe, and again, this is just a guess. Nobody knows. The smartest person yeah. in the world doesn't know. I think that where we're at now is just one phase of life. So even when you die, you continue to go. You just go into the next phase of your existence. What you got under your arm? How your lipstick got under your arm? Yeah, how do my? Oh, oh, maybe because, or maybe that rash. Maybe the oh, because the dress, or maybe I, may, or maybe I have a deadly rash <laughs> from the wig. Yeah, it's a sweat. That's what I think. I think you know, like how a caterpillar how becomes about, a more butterfly. Deja vu, deja vu, deja vu, and, and, and all that. Like that happens. Recognition, whatever. Recognition. Past lives? Do you believe in yeah. past lives? Well, do you believe that time is all happening at that's, once? I believe that's life after death. I, I believe we will hear more than once. You know what's interesting? I believe we will hear in this world more than once. And it keeps repeating cycles. Yes. Pimp said the other day, uh, Homeless Pimp said the other day, that he likes a woman with a scar on her face. You're a woman with a scar on your face. Where's my scar? You have a scar right here. Yeah, do. do you not like talking about that scar? How'd you get that scar? I got that scar. Speaking to the mic. Talking to yeah. I got that scar in prison. Really? What happened? What'd they do to you, baby? Because I was trying to defend this guy. They were going to cut him. And I seen when they were coming up to him. I was talking to him. We were, we were like at each other. So. But did I, you hook up? Huh? Like did each other like I that? I was against the war and he was out the war and he was talking to me. And I seen when they came around and took out the blade. And when they were going to cut him. I pushed him to the side, and they got me by accident. Ah. So they cut me from here all the way oh. to here. Wow, like the Joker. Yeah, and it fade away, and it's the little piece here. Then I said it on the broadcast. They had, my mouth was so wide open that they took a whole roll of tissue, and they put it all in my mouth. Oh, oh my God, you're like Pac-Woman. That's how wide my jaw fell. And they put a whole roll of tissue in my mouth to stop all the blood. Oh my god! Oh my god. But yes. did you? But did do you? The the scars that actually was the biggest thing I ever had in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god! Did they? But did they? Uh, but I feel like your scars give you character. They give you character. You know what and I that's mean? That's why I like them on the reference. On, 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 yeah. On, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, like a scar on a girl. Salem witch trials. What do you know about the Salem witch trials? Nothing. It's Halloween. I don't know about Salem so in the late 1600s, 1692, 1693, Salem, Massachusetts, which we're going to go to, we went last year, we're going to go again. They, in Massachusetts, they burned many, many women at the stake. They tied them to a piece of wood and set them on fire because they believed that they were witches. For all time. When I was in school, I never paid mine to school. Oh, okay. So what were you doing never. in school then? Never. I always used to be the clown of the school. Like I said, I used to take the teacher's books and everything, throw them out the window. <laughs> All the science book, her social studies book and everything. I used to, as soon as you go into class, they used to be in the hallway talking to other teachers. All the, all the books that were on top of the table, I used to take them all and throw them all out the window. Holy I used to erase shit. everything on the board. I used to be the clown of the, of the class. So you all never listen, the so you time. Don't... I used to play hooky a lot. Never really went to school. What else school. would you do in school f- to get other people to laugh? What else would you do? Yeah, what was a big goof? The big goof? Nothing. Oh, my God. One time I shit <laughs> right in the classroom. <laughs> I shit it. I shit it. <laughs> yeah. I shit it right in the classroom. I was sitting all the way in the back. And I shit it in the class. You know when you gotta take a shit oh, yeah. and you can't hold it and you like, oh my God, oh my God. And all of a sudden it just comes <laughs> right out. That shit was all a big bubble on the back of my butt. All my shit came out. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there. I'm just sitting there like this. And everybody like, oh shit, fuck, it smells like shit. Oh my God, it smells like shit. Everybody opening the windows. The teacher opened the door. Everybody started running out the classroom. Because that shit really stinks. So so now, are you trying to hide your shit? How do you get out of this? No, but wait a minute. So, everybody's out. So, the only one that's still sitting on the chair was me. All the way in the back. So, they knew it was me. 
They shitted on myself. So no. to this day, to this day, every time I see somebody that was in that classroom with me, that was in sixth grade, they always called me shitty. That's the name they gave me, shitty. Wow. And to this day, every time I bump into somebody in the street that was in my classroom at that years back, they say, hey, hey, shitty, how you doing, shitty? Wow. They still call me shitty. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> so now, how did you get out of the classroom? Would you go home? Do you go yeah, to the bathroom? Yeah, I had to get up and walk real slow because that shit was coming down my pants and everything. How old were you? I was in sixth grade. Oh, wow, man, 11. Tough. Yeah. Hey, tough. Hap- hey, listen, it happens, it man. Bad. It. Ha- I mean, so, uh, you know, because, uh, listen, uh, people shit on themselves. I, I think everybody shit it on themselves one yeah, time. So I was just gonna Diarrhea say, or something just course. comes out. It and happens. you try to hold it. Oops. It, it happens. pops right out. Well, I happens. said this story already on oh, the show. Oh, when you lay a fart. <laughs> you think it's a fart on this shit. What, one time, <laughs> yes, of course, I sharded once at a, at, a, at a comedy gig. I just had to throw my yeah. underwear out there, right in the garbage. I threw my underwear out. <laughs> and I went on commando with shit flakes. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say, Pimpy? I actually, uh, yeah, I told I shit my pants after I smoked a blunt with my Uber driver in LA. Yes, oh it happens, God. dude. Yeah. Yeah, so, what do you happens. think? Do you think? Do we think? What do you guys think? Email Chris Podcast at gmail.com. Pimp in the room. What do we think? Do we think if TT was alive and was in Salem, Massachusetts? If I was alive. If you were alive in at, at 1692, 1693 in Salem, oh, Massachusetts, oh. would you be burned as a witch or would she just become the mayor of the town? I'll Which would the, it be? I'll become the mayor of the town. Because they've never no. seen, not, not only have they never I'll seen a transgender person at that time, they probably never even seen a Puerto Rican person at that time in Massachusetts. So Wow. You know, if we ever get the Patreon up enough, we should buy a time machine and go back and film this. Do you guys want a time machine or not? Then give me your money at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, let me see this. Oh, look, AOC does her laundry just like us. Look at and that. her mother and her mother cleans houses. Just like you. Just like me. That's who you look like, houses. AOC's mother. <laughs> her, That's her mother, who you look like. My mother cleans houses. That's what she does for a living. I yeah. love this laundry day. Today, my gratitude goes to drop off service and laundromat workers. So she's dropping off laundry in this laundromat. But yeah, then, she yeah, does but then everything she's a, a, normal, a normal SUV. girl does, a normal wo- woman does. Look at her, carrying two big bags of laundry. That makes you respect her. Yes. You would course. vote for her if she, ever, if she was running yeah, for president? Would, would you vote, vote for her? her? She's Puerto Rican. She's Spanish. There you go. That's a good reason yeah. to vote for somebody. Why not? TT, you're going to literally. You're going to watch the kids tonight. You're sleeping yes, over again. I, I love it. What are you going to cook for the kids? I what what are my the, kids going to eat I, tonight? I, I, arroz con candules. Arroz con candules. Spanish, they love Spanish rice. Right. No, she and does. My Delilah they love, loves Spanish They rice. love Spanish rice with, with fried eggs. Ooh. Ooh. With fried eggs. Sunny side. Sunny side. So eggs. you're going to make that for them? Yeah, I'll make that for them. Okay. They love it. They love it. What that. movie are you guys going to watch? Um, I don't know. We want to watch a movie. We'll probably play some games. Yeah, don't let them in this room. There's tools. There's the the table saws in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, um, that guy from um, Chainsaw or something. Texas Chainsaw yeah. Massacre. Yeah. What would you do if you one of the horror movie guys ran at you, like Jason or Freddy Krueger? Nothing. Were you I'm ever saying, afraid hey, of a horror up? movie? I'm, I'm not gonna be. I mean, I did so many years in prison that I wasn't afraid of the big gangsters, the big. Dudes with guns stabbing each other, stabbing me and everything. I'm going to be afraid of a guy walking around with a knife or something. I'll what is the thing that scares you then? Because I, I, I've always wondered about that. You did so much time in prison. You, you, you. I don't think anything scares me anymore. Like you want to be I've scared. been through so much in life that nothing scares me. Okay, anymore. let me ask you this. What, what about Not even I, death. What if I dropped you in the middle Not of the forest? Death. Middle of the forest in the middle of the I'd night. I walk butt naked all around the forest. Okay. You don't give a shit. I won't be scared. You're not scared of the dark. Around. No, I love the dark. I won't be scared walking by myself around the forest. Wait, you love the dark. I That's mean, interesting. So being in the I dark mean, doesn't scare you at all. At all. You don't think about creepy things that no, could happen I don't think or about nothing creepy. I already went through all that through my, oh, my the talking entire to my life, to my entire life. I went through so many creepy stuff, so many shit that I just got over it. So now, uh, now yeah, you it, genuinely it, it, could say that you are a fearless person. Yes. I am. Wow, nothing scares you. That There's got to be the something only thing that scares that you. Me as God. God scares you. Okay. Why does God scare That's you? That's about it. What, yeah, why are you afraid of God? That's the thing. Because he could really. He could really. He's the only one that you should be 
afraid of like like he could do anything like he's abusive no he's not abusive. is he a woman <laughs> no he's not because a, a lot woman. of people there's a movie that god's a woman no well no, listen guys. let's be honest with about something right now if we're saying that god is everywhere and all things at once then by definition, well, God is transgender. Then, then God got to be a man, a woman. He's black, he's white, he's Spanish, he's Chinese. He's all kind. He's all that thing. God and is Jerry. And I believe that too. But they said that God is only one. God. So God is... One person. God is all and one? Yeah. God is everything. All, God is and everything one. and nothing at the same time. God is in all of us. Without permission, God raped me. This is... <laughs> 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 Who was the one that said that God was a woman? You was the one in one of your broken. Yeah, it was uh, it was me uh, dressed as Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, baby. This has oh, been the Chrissy yes. Chaos Show. Yes. Thank you guys. A Halloween episode. Tell us all your favorite Halloween things. Email the podcast, ChrissyChaosPodcast at gmail.com. Check out the Patreon episode. We have so much fun going over there. We do the Chris and Eddie show now for all the levels. Anybody you want, we take edibles, we do a show. We had my dad on, we have TT on. We got a whole cast of characters at patreon.com slash Chris D Comedy. Thank you guys so much for the Thank support. Thank you guys. Every Tuesday, 11 a.m. Eastern time, tell your friends, like, subscribe to the podcast. Homeless Pimp, Venetia, TT Jerry. Thank you so much. much. Happy Halloween, kids.